It really is a thrill to be able to handle an object which continues to intrigue and puzzle even the world's leading experts in antiquities. Because this little cylindrical lump of stone dates back some 3,500 years. One of the areas of conjecture is what sort of stone is it actually made of? Is it jade or is it some other material? If you look carefully, the cylinder of stone is engraved with a dense series of hieroglyphics and pictures. The fact of the matter is these are incredibly difficult to read off the stone and that's the point because 3,500 years ago you wouldn't be expected to read it off the stone. What you would have handy would be a tablet of moist clay and you'd apply the cylinder to the moist clay like this and you'd roll it in a continuous band across the clay and then you'd have a look at the impression that's been created like this. Now we have something that you can physically read. And there's an engraving of a character that is a god with one or two locusts above him. He's seated on a stool and is holding a trident. Who is this god? Well, a bit more research might reveal that. What the experts can decipher is that it is a seal from the period of the king Kuringalzu approximately 3,500 years ago. And what it does is to give the mark of authority to the person who is bearing this seal for whatever orders the king has issued. So if he's ordering grain or a ship or he wants some particular um, function performed, the person who has this seal impresses the seal and the recipient must do what the king requires. So what is a piece like this worth? Well, the auction estimate in the upcoming timeline sale is six to eight thousand pounds. All I can say is keep taking the tablets. <laughs>